Mid-State RV Center, the camping experts since 1989. by Mid-State RV. Hello folks, Tina Pickard here at Mid-State RV Center in Byron. There's some new things going on at Mid-State RV and we're here to talk about them in this show. Hey guys, this is Todd Keen at Mid-State RV. I want to introduce you to the Cedar Creek Front Living today. What's unique about this unit is it has a garage in the back, but it is not a toy hauler. It is still a front living fifth wheel. Come on over and I'll show you some different options. You got slide toppers, which is nice on all the slides. You got the frameless windows, which makes nice for opening the windows if it's raining, no ventilation. You got the aluminum frame, which keeps it light. Um, <clears throat> Plenty of storage throughout the unit. We've got the new standard steps, which are very strong aluminum steps. They actually go into the unit. Close the door, the steps are out of the way. Over here, more options. You got the magnets for your doors, outside refrigerator. And of course the TV. Let's go inside the unit. All right, now we're inside. As you notice the barreled roof, which gives you a lot more height. The LED lights give a nice soft, bright light. Plenty of storage, solid, solid surface counter with a nice pantry. A larger oven, which is nice. Residential refrigerator, which runs on electric. So Whirlpool appliances. Plenty of room for the whole family. This coach gives you a lot of um, features. You have two air conditioners also, 15,000 ducted quiet cool air conditioners. You have a residential convection microwave. You got the nice Lazy Boy furniture and believe it or not, both these couches could turn into two king beds. The whole family could come up here and get comfortable. Lighter furniture. Gives you that more open space. You also have a fireplace. Puts out a lot of heat. Nice large TV. Jensen is the marine grade TV. Um, goes up to 140 degrees. Also is vibration tested, so it's gonna last a long time. Plenty of windows. You also have the slow rise. Roll mats or blinds. Shades is what the correct term is. They're gonna be more durable. They're gonna last a lot longer. You got a nice large shower. Solid surface counters with a porcelain toilet. Up here to the bedroom. After a long day of having a good time, you can come up here and rest. Plenty of storage. Also gives you a place over here to sit, read a book, take off the shoes. You got a place for a washer dryer hookup. Then some more storage is added over here for you. You can hang up your clothes. And then you also have another Jensen TV in the back. Folks, let me show you what's amazing about this unit. The nice thing about it is, believe it or not, it's a toy hauler. Yes, that's right, it's a toy hauler. Even though you're in a very nice luxury fifth wheel, you still have a garage. Let me show you guys. Cedar Creek now provides you a garage for the back. Just turn it like this, pull it towards you. 
Again, easy release, very easy to handle, one hand. Amazing garage, right over here. You can bring your bicycles, your golf cart will fit in, the bed goes up, gets out of the way, gives you plenty of room for that golf cart. Please come by and see us. I'm Todd at Midstate RV. Have a great day. Thank you for joining our show. Welcome to the RV show here at Midstate RV Center. I'd like to introduce you to our service department and our service team. Now we've been in business since 1989 and the reason we've done that is because we've always had a solid company mission and that's been that we sell RVs to make friends and we service them to keep them. Now we've been doing this for years and years and we've serviced thousands of customers and we're going to be here for years to come to take care of all your RV needs. Anything you need to have done from a travel trailer to a diesel motorhome, just give us a call here at our service department and let our service team take care of you. We've been the camping experts here in Byron since 1989. As you can see, we're going through some change here at Midstate RV Service Department. And to expand on that a little bit further, I'd like to introduce Tina Pickard. She's the owner and director of operations here at Midstate RV Center. The changes at Midstate RV Service Department are aimed at taking better care of our customers. Though you can still come here and get your special order parts, we have built a brand new showroom for RV parts directly across the street from sales. Chester and I are so excited to invite you in to visit with us at the RV Parts Showroom. So welcome to Midstate RV Center's Showroom for RV Parts. We have an excellent selection of RV furniture here at the showroom, and I think that Chester is very impressed with this recliner. This recliner is one of my favorites as well. So come try it out. It's really comfortable. It gets rid of that stress in your lower back. One of the more interesting uh, products that we're carrying now is this Camp Casual. It's uh, RV dishes and cups. They're, you know, kind of the, you have ceramic and you also have the non-breakable melamine, which I always like. I even use it in my home. but especially important for an RV because it cuts down on the weight and you don't have to worry about it breaking. It's just not as heavy. These are big dog bucket chairs and they are so comfortable. Not what you would expect from a folding chair. Chester, you've got a pretty good spot there. This is Will. Will helps install parts. Some of the accessories you may want to pick out. He's the man to install them, whether it's bug screens, or a new on-demand water heater. So well, tell us about this on-demand Suburban water heater. Okay, this is the Nautilus from Suburban. It actually directly replaces your existing water heater, um, changes it to an on-demand so you have continuous hot water for long showers. Um, it'll easily replace a six or a 10 gallon system. Um, we have doors for either Atwood or Suburban uh, retrofits, um, new tank cap vents, and then we also have a very interesting and simple to use thermostat here uh, for degree by degree control of temperature um, ranging from 100 to 130 degrees. So I have a question. How does this really replace directly what's there? I meant like, do you have to rewire for this um, We use existing wiring from your RV's existing water heater. Mm -hmm. It's a simple, it, well it sounds simpler than it really is, but we pull the old water heater out, install this one in place. The process takes about three or four hours. Mm -hmm. um, and it gives you years of hot water while camping. And so this is like the switch that you might find in your camper now, which you can just go to a switch only. And this is for, um, let's say, $15.49 versus the $65. But this offers, if I understand correctly, the control of the temperature. Yes, yes. in degree That's increments. That's the advantage of using that. Whereas product. this one's preset at around 115 degrees, you can get a little more hot water out of um, your water heater by going with one of these. Mm -hmm. So this is one product I'm really proud to have in the store. Everybody has the issue of getting uh, mattress sheets that fit the mattress. And these are specially designed just for your typical RV size mattresses, the shorter mattresses and so forth. Plus we have these plush type uh, 
pads that also fit the mattresses and we have a Euro top mattress that you can even replace the whole mattress in an RV because we know it's difficult to get a good night's sleep if you don't have a comfortable mattress. So we have everything you need here to make sure you're going to have a comfortable sleep in your RV. Now for you fifth wheel owners, especially the larger fifth wheel and the toy haulers where you're carrying a lot of weight, it's important to have the right kind of towing experience. Not only is it just comfort, but it's also safety. When it comes to that bucking and the chucking that might go on with a hitch, you can change out a pen box that's going to really make a tremendous difference in over the road towing with your big fifth wheels. So this is a, a Lippert product that I'm really proud to have in the store. Um, your bike racks that you typically have on the back of your camper, the back of your automobile sometimes, which is very similar set up on the back of a trailer. You ever notice how those bicycles are bouncing around back there? Well, this goes on the tongue of the trailer. Now this is exclusively, of course, for a travel trailer type setup. But you install this in about an hour. You'll have to remove your tongue whether it's electric or manual, in order to put this bracket on. But we also offer these electric tongue jacks. Here we have a smart electric tongue jack, which is uh, a programmable type, so it knows you know, how high to lift the trailer to get it off the ball of your automobile, and uh, how high you may want to bring the foot up you know, to get clearance. So, it's a little added feature. The pricing on this smart jack I think is, is very reasonable. I mean you can get this smart jack for about what you get most heavy duty jacks for, which this one is a 3,500 pound. I don't, I don't recommend having any lower poundage type of electric tongue jack. This one is selling for $289.79. It's a, you know, maybe a $25 install where the jacket, if we do this in combination, you know, we'd install both of these for $50. So the installation side of these accessories that we're offering here is also, you know, extremely competitive and we are here to earn your business. So here in this aisle, you have your Dicor products, which are all the products necessary to maintain your rubber roof. And uh, we have everything from the repair tape, to the cleaner, to the protectant. Uh, we used to carry this, of course, in the service department. Now all of this product is over here in our showroom for the RV parts. And if you don't see it here, uh, just ask. We can usually get just about any products that you might find out there. And we're always competitively priced. This is a great bowl to have in your RV. You can keep water in it for your dog traveling with you or your cat. And uh, it can have water in it going down the road, but it doesn't spill out, guaranteed. So Chester can always have a little something to drink on the road. So Chester and I have shown you a few of the things that we offer here at the RV Park Showroom, Mid-State RV Center. But please come visit whether you buy something or not, just look at what we have. Sit in some of these really nice recliner chairs. We even have the reclining sofas. So come see us, y'all. This month for our tech tip, one of the items I'd like to discuss is things you can do to make your RV refrigerator uh, work a little more efficiently. Now, I guess first off, it's good to understand the way a gas absorption refrigerator works, is, which is what typically you're going to have in most of your campers. Um, compared to your residential style refrigerator, it's a uh, completely different concept. Uh, it, it does not pump cold air into the box. Uh, matter of fact, a gas absorption refrigerator doesn't have a compressor. Uh, it doesn't have any moving parts. Uh, basically, what you have is a uh, the cooling unit on the refrigerator is heated either by the burner assembly or by the heating element, which causes a chemical reaction in the uh, tubes of the cooling unit. And what this does is literally absorbs heat out of the box. Um, so it works on a completely different principle. And just uh, 
rule of thumb when you start your refrigerator, which you definitely want to do the day before you plan to go on a trip, uh, you want to start it empty and it's going to take it a good six hours to be able to cool down. Now, when you go to load your refrigerator after you've let it cool down overnight, uh, you want to be sure you're loading it with products that have already been cooled. You know, you, you, you want to take, uh, you know, things that are going in the refrigerator box, uh, you want to be sure they're cooled down going into the refrigerator box, and anything that you're putting in the freezer uh, needs to be previously frozen before you put it in there. Uh, anything you add to the refrigerator, any type of heat you add to it, it's just going to offset the efficiency of the rate that the refrigerator can cool down. Now also, when you're packing your refrigerator, uh, you want to be sure that you leave some space in between the items in the refrigerator because air circulation in the box uh, really all, uh, affects the efficiency of the way that it's able to cool. Um, and take in mind when this refrigerator starts cooling, uh, it, it basically gravity affects the way that it cools. The freezer is always going to freeze first and then that trickles down to the lower box of your refrigerator. Um, now, with circulation, there are some things that you know, we, can, we can do to help you out with air. They, they make 12-volt uh, fans that you can put in your refrigerator box to help circulate air in it, but you know, also you want to be sure you have the space in between all the items in the refrigerator to be able to allow circulation. And uh, on the back side of the refrigerator, where you have the, uh, the, the fins that heat up to be able to draw the hot air out of the box. Uh, we can ha add fans to that system that allow it to be able to remove that heat from the back of the refrigerator faster, which also helps uh, increase the efficiency of the refrigerator. If there's ever anything we can do, any questions you have about your refrigerator, if you want to inquire about having auxiliary fans installed to help with the cooling, just give us a call here at Mid-State RV Service Department. Welcome to Miss State RV Center's business office. I'm Mark McDonald. I'm the business manager. I've been here since May of 2000, and we're here to make sure that we can uh, help you uh, get your new RV. Our goal here at Miss State RV Center is to find you the right RV. That's the RV that fits your needs and fits your budget. Once you pick out your new RV or your used RV, you'll come back here and Mike and I will do our best to make sure we can find you the financing terms that that you want, the ones that's gonna make camping experience best for you. We offer short-term loans, terms as short as 60 months, or for those larger purchases, say in a, uh, a big motor home, a fifth wheel, we do offer terms out to 240 months. So that makes camping affordable and easy for you and your family. Regardless of your credit history, be it perfect or be it not so perfect, we've got lenders that we can work with to help you. And my goal here is to make it as easy as possible. You can give us a call, 1-800-226-3654, uh, or you can go to our website, www.midstaterv.com. Click on the Finance tab. You'll see a link. You can send me an email directly, or you can fill out our online credit app. doesn't get much simpler than that, but after all, this is a recreational vehicle business, and we're here to have fun. So look forward to hearing from you. All right, folks. We're back out at the used lot. We're gonna show you some units today. Um, got a lot of late model stuff, a couple of motor homes, some fifth wheels, some travel trailers, give you a good variety. We're gonna do our best to kind of run you through them and, and give you a good idea what you're looking at, okay? We're gonna start off at this 2012 Crusader 298BH. This is a half ton towable fifth wheel. So lightweight, relatively compact, but you still have a lot of room in here with the slide out. Got you a nice little L-shaped countertop. 
you can let this down into a bed and then some additional sleeping space in the back you got you some bunk beds with little shelves and a little closet in there so you can put the kids up in there and pack all their stuff and rock and roll nice mattress you got enough room to walk around the bed up here closet on one side and you kind of got your little side table on the other with the radio got your receptacle so you can plug in your phone plug in your CPAP plug in your little sleeping apparatuses all right moving on to this 2016 Winnebago Aspect 30J this is a nice motorhome you can see it's got that solid fiberglass cap doesn't have the window in it but that's gonna help with like aerodynamia and stuff like that keep you rolling down the road got some good storage under the underneath on the side aisle storage things there and a really big storage compartment in the back here got your backup camera solid fiberglass cap in the back just looks good it looks real good uh, this is a pretty spacious class c when you get inside of it uh, you've got two little electric recliners that'll turn into a bed as well so a little additional sleeping space and you can see why because they use the front cap for an entertainment center your dinette you can see has got these nice little extensions on it so that if you wanted to sit right there and put your feet up or if you had somebody that wanted to sit on those little things they sure can do it so it's got a cutesy little kitchen but it still works you got these covers for the stove so you can do a little prep on there set your stuff over here and get to uh, making turkeys and and you know frying chicken and whatnot so you get back to the back and you got your wardrobe slide here with your closet got some hanging space put some stuff up in there got the rounded face shower that's for the bigger folks you can still get up in there and move around ain't gonna knock your elbows is a 2016 aspect 30j all right moving to a small hybrid class b class c this is a 2016 rev 24 tb it's on a dodge promaster chassis so you're getting the gas mileage you guys can get out go around and not have to spend that much on gas that's a pretty good thing you got outside entertainment on this side so if you're sitting out here under the awning, turn the TV on, watch Die Hard, watch Old Yeller, do what you do, hanging out beside the motorhome. Move around to the back. They put all of your hookups close to each other to make it convenient. Being that this is a, a, a compact, a very small Class C, you can tell you, you got no slides. You still got a good hip space to be able to move through. You can cook, got a couch you can sit on. This will fold out, make into a bed, and you can also set up this table to use it as your dinette. Got a nice bathroom on it, a big bathroom. Two separate beds here so that you, your wife can sleep over there, you can sleep over here, or vice versa, or if you guys, you know, whatever. Moving on to some travel trailers, folks. Got you a 2015 Freedom Express 302 VFK. And you, you can probably figure out what the V stands for. It's for very nice travel trailer. Got solid surface countertops. You can see the kitchen is pretty unique. It gives you a lot of space. You got 360 degrees right here to be able to pick stuff up, put stuff down, and set your turkey up for cooking and whatnot. Sleeping space. You've got this dinette, it's a big dinette, less down. You sleep two adults on that. Got you a nice couch here with some cup holders in it, and it is a trifold. It's a split bath. I always talk about split baths because I like split bath. You got it as wide as you're gonna get it. You got a lot of room. You can move around in here. Somebody can be brushing their teeth while you're jumping in and out of the shower. And you also get good big storage compartments like that. You get into the bedroom back here, the bedroom's in the back, and that gives you a lot of space to kind of move around. Got your little entertainment center, some cabinets, a closet with mirrors on it so you can check yourself out before you go out to eat, and got your queen bed in the slide. Final piece, a 2015 working play 18 EC. This is for all you working players out there. You've got a very short toy hauler travel trailer with a Murphy bed 
So if you're not looking for 35 foot toy haulers and you like a work and play, this is the one for you. You could probably get three motorbikes in here at one time inside of a very short travel trailer chassis. Got you a little kitchen right there. Got you a little bathroom. A little really pretty big bathroom. Got you a big bathroom in there. All right, folks, it's Brent again. I know what y'all are thinking. This motorhome looks like a new one. And you always see me doing used ones. That's because it is a new one. This is a 2018 Forest River Georgetown 369 XLF. And I'm very excited to be able to show you guys this gorgeous motorhome. All right, moving around to the door side now. As you're coming around, you have got some outside entertainment. Got your television, some Jensen speakers out here. Sit under the awning, listen to the radio, watch the game, do your thing. Got your little compartment there for your batteries. Easy access. If you ever have to jump it off or pop the house batteries off, you can. When you get around to the back cap, got your ladder here. This will help for inspecting the roof, climbing up. You go to a NASCAR race or something, you want to get you a higher perspective of what's going on, you can do it with that ladder. You've got your shoreline right here. You roll that bad boy up in there. Now we're on the inside, and I'm going to show you guys there is a lot of features on the inside that I want to show y'all. You look up in the front cap here, and you've got this cute little bunk bed. Put the grandkids on. You let it down like so. And boom, you have additional sleeping space. It's for one, but if you ever need it, it's there and it doesn't take up any space inside the motorhome, which is a pretty nice feature in my opinion. Got solid surface countertops. This is the new Furion stove top. It's a three burner stove top and it looks pretty nice. Now, I'll be honest with you, I wish I had one of those at my house. Residential refrigerator. There is a inverter underneath. That will power this off 12 volt battery in the event that you want to go dry camping and you do not want to run your generator or if you're driving down the road and you want to keep the refrigerator running, you can do that. This thing has got a really nice partition to it to where you kind of, you feel comfortable moving around in here. You got your kitchen up there, you're eating space and you got your space to be sitting here watching television. So you sit on this L shaped sofa, got you a nice fireplace and your television kind of turned in so you can sit right here. I tell you what, that's pretty good right there. Moving forward, it's a bath and a half. This is the half bath, which is convenient because if you have somebody sleeping back here, they don't have to pass through the bedroom to get to the bathroom in the back. I'm gonna show you the bathroom in the back. You're gonna see why they put it in the back. It's a big bathroom and it's nice. Getting into the bedroom right here. You do have a very nice pocket door with a glass cover on it that you can close when you're ready to go to sleep or if you're just sitting back here watching television, hanging out, you can shut yourself off and hide out back here, stay away from the grandkids or the kids or whoever you're trying to stay away from. So in the very back of the motorhome, you've got your second bathroom. This is the master bath, right? So as you can see, it's got a corner shower with a round face. You guys are gonna love it. So folks, that's it. A 2018 Georgetown 369 XLF. This is a nice motorhome. I think you guys should come down and look at it. We're right off exit 149 in Byron. Uh, we've got tons more motorhomes similar to this one, some that are different, some that might work perfect for you if this one doesn't. You guys come down and check us out. Exit 149 Byron, Miss Sarah View Center. Ask for Brett. I appreciate you. So we're here at the body shop now and I wanted to go over some of the type of roofing membranes that you find on RVs, two in particular. Uh, that I show here is both the EPDM, which you will recognize. You can go ahead, Cody, and turn it over to show the back side. You can see that it's black, because basically it's just black rubber with what's called an EPDM coating so that you get the white on the top. The product that we're offering here at the body shop is this PVC roof. And it is, it's not as stretchy, but it's a lot more durable. And the best part about it is the UV rays just don't affect it quite like it does that EPDM rubber roof. 
Now that you've seen some of the new things we're offering here at Mid-State RV Center, whether you're looking for a new camper or just dreaming about one, come see our new showroom because we have all kinds of great products. And always remember, we sell to make friends, but we service to keep them.